hello guys welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about the question that is count the hidden sequences on lead code so although this is a medium level question uh, but like after i have to uh, explain the approach to you uh, you will feel like it's really easy so as you can see uh, you're given a zero indexed array of n integers differences which describes the uh, differences between each pair of consecutive integers of a hidden sequence of length n plus one more formally call the hidden sequence hidden uh, then we have that differences i is equal to hidden i plus 1 minus hidden of i so uh, without going uh, into more depth i would like to show you one example that as you can see here the uh, differences is basically given as 1 minus 3 4 so what it uh, signifies is that that there will be a hidden sequence okay which is of length uh, that is one more than this differences length that is 4 okay here the differences length is 3 so the mm, hidden, sequ uh, hidden sequence length is going to be equal to 4 so there should be four uh, elements okay in between which whose difference should be mentioned in the array of differences so as you can see over here this 3 4 1 5 hidden sequence that is there so between 3 and 4 there is this uh, difference of 1 right and this one is basically there uh, like present in this differences array now uh, second uh, the difference between the second pair of elements has to be uh, minus 3 that is 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 that is present over here again 5 minus 1 uh, at the last pair the difference is equal to 5 minus 1 4 and 4 is basically present over here so such uh, like this only we have to find all such uh, hidden sequences that can exist as you can see here 4 5 2 6 is also in uh, hidden sequence that follows the same pattern that fall uh, that uh, satisfy the same uh, condition and this uh, hidden sequences that we have to count are uh, going to be basically ranging like the elements in uh, all of these hidden sequences can range only in between lower and upper that has been given and it can be inclusive of lower and upper okay so here as lower is given as one and upper is given in six so you won't see any element in the hidden uh, hidden sequence that is more uh, than six or that is less than one so uh, that's done so we have to return the number of possible hidden sequences there are if there are no possible sequences we simply have to return zero okay so uh, let's straight away go to the approach okay so suppose we have been given a difference of a difference of array uh, that is given as 1 minus 3 and 4 okay suppose we have been given as differences as 1 minus 3 4 okay so we have been given this differences now what we can basically see is that uh, suppose okay fine so i would like to show you one diagram okay like suppose we start with uh, zero as our initial point okay as our initial uh, element in the hidden sequence as our first element in the hidden sequence okay this is the hidden sequence suppose zero is the first element in the hidden sequence so wh where can i go so that difference between the next element and zero is one i can basically raise this to one right this is one point of my hidden sequence the next point i can keep at one right i can keep this at one so that the difference between one and zero is one that is satisfied over here next that i i can do is i can basically uh you know from one from this one i can uh you know uh, increase it to uh sorry i can decrease it to three D decrease it by three sorry so that it comes to minus two why did i do this because uh difference between minus two and one is going to be three that is minus two minus one is equal to three right so that's why i just uh brought it down to uh, then brought it brought the next point down to minus two right now the next point uh has to be in a difference of four right so i'll raise this again by four so that it will come to so as you can see this is one hidden sequence uh, and uh, at the same time i have been given the lower limit as one and the upper limit is six okay so do you observe any uh, element that is uh, like uh, lower uh, lower than one or higher than six do you see that we don't uh, yes we, we do see that we would see one see uh, element that is minus two that is lower than this so we know that we can't accept the sequence right this sequence uh, cannot be accepted so uh, now we know that we, we have to shift this up right and our lower value has always uh, has to be one so we know that if we shift this value up by lower like, like the difference between minus two and one is three so if we if we shift this by uh if we shift this by three three elements okay 
लाइक इफ इट शिफ्ट जीरो अब बाई थ्री एलिमेंट्स इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो फ्रॉम थ्री सो इफ इफ यू कीप आर इनिशियल पॉइंट इज थ्री द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इन द हिड एंड सीक्वेंस इफ यू कीप इट एज थ्री सो द नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट दैट विल बी देर इज गोइंग टू बी प्लस वन दैट इज फोर राइट फोर then then the next element that will be there is 4 minus 3 that is 1 see here it's 1 okay and the next element is going to be 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5 right so these are all the four points in the hidden sequence 3 4 1 and 5 right so 3 4 1 and 5 all the elements fall in the range of 1 to 6 inclusive of 1 to 6 right and at the same time they also uh, you know uh, ha uh, satisfy the condition uh, of this uh, differences array right pairwise difference so we can say that 3 4 1 5 is one successful uh, hidden sequence now uh, as you have uh, men uh, as you have seen how did we actually uh, you know bring what did we do in this operation in order to make the sequence possible we shifted this thing up right right we we just shifted this from zero upwards to uh, to, to a point where our uh, condition will be satisfied the same way uh, see i i know that i can't shift this down anymore because i just was on the verge of uh, getting eliminated i am on the verge of getting uh, like the uh, hidden sequence being invalid because my uh, you know this uh, this thing my uh, point 1 is right at the edge of this interval right that is 1 to 6 so if i bring this any down like if i if, if this this starts from 2 suppose so this will come to 0 right but 0 cannot be included in our hidden sequence because that is not present in the range that has been given to us that is lower to upper right it is not present in that range so we can cannot include this lower wala sequence so we uh, the um, the minimum the lowest sequence that we can go to is this is when we start from 3 right but uh we can now this this we have done that this is the lower okay this is the lower range that we have touched just touched but we have not touched the upper range yet right the maximum element that is there in the hidden sequence has not 6 it can be 6 right we know that the if the interval goes up to 6 so the maximum element that can be present in this hidden sequence can obviously be 6 but uh, do you see that in this uh, sequence there are any uh, there is any 6 there is no 6 right so i know now that i can basically uh, you know shift this up like if i shift this up how many times can i shift this up by one units how many times can i shift this up by one units so that none of the none of the elements that are present in this uh, hidden sequence uh, exceed the higher range so as you can see the highest element that we have till now is 5 right so i can only uh, go till such a point so that this highest point becomes 6 i it can't go above than that because obviously then it will fall outside the range so i can just go one step up right if i go one step up my sequence will something uh, will be something like 4 5 4 5 and 6 right so this is my uh, second hidden sequence second hidden sequence of this specific uh, differences array right so as i can see that uh, as you can see that there, there are two uh, hidden array uh, hidden sequences that we could do and what was the logic behind us doing it what was the logic behind us shifting the thing it it was that we have to cover all the possible uh, hidden sequences such that our uh, maximum element in this hidden sequence uh, you know falls less than equal to upper and our minimum element in this uh, hidden sequence is greater than equal to lower so this was our condition this is very main uh, like very imp important condition just noted down okay so now how do we do this in how do we find this out in terms of maths okay how do we find this w what we basically do is that we will uh, like see i told you that we can sh we shift it only by one unit right we shift whenever we shift it down we shift it down by one unit whenever we shift it up we shift it up by one unit because for every unit we have to shift all the points by one one unit right in order to satisfy the differences array I if you say here that uh, this uh, like this sequence uh, like this sequence over here is 3 4 1 5 right right this is 3 uh, 3 4 1 5 now if you say that i will shift 3 by only one unit up and 4 i will shift by two units up 4 i'll make it. but in that case it won't satisfy this uh, differences array given right because after 3 the only difference it can have with the next element is 1 
so the next element can only be 4 or if if the initial uh, if the first element is 4 the next element can be 5 that's uh, that's only it always have to maintain the condition of the differences array right so that's the thing now uh, since we are shifting one one unit up now we know that uh, if if we have to you know uh, consider all the uh, all such uh, hidden sequences uh, in between upper and max so we need to take upper minus max number of times because obviously right here as as you can see here in this uh, specific hidden sequence the maximum element is 5 right maximum element is 5 so uh, and my uh, upper range that is 6 right so how many uh, sequences how many times could i shift it up how many different sequences could i get it was 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1 right i could only get one, by i could only shift it only once because i can only go up till the uh, my maximum element can only go up till that uh, that interval the highest uh, the higher part of the interval right i can't go above that so i got uh, my number of extra sequences that i'm getting as 6 minus 5 that is equal to 1 just the same way i also need to find out the extra number of uh, sequences that i might get if i shift it downwards now in this example that i showed you maybe it was not possible to shift it downwards but suppose there is some extra space between suppose the lower range uh, was actually not uh, 1 it were the lo lower range were act actually zero here suppose the lower range given here is zero so i know that i can also shift this one uh, time one down right if i shift it once down it will become uh, like from this uh, first uh, hidden sequence 3 4 1 5 if i shift this once down this uh, sequence will become something like 2 3 0 4 this is totally valid because all the uh, numbers in the hidden sequence fall in the range that has been uh, given to us that is 0 to 6 so this is totally valid so for the lower number of extra uh, sequences also we need to do something like uh, min minus lower okay we will do min minus lower min minus lower so the number of extra sequences that we got by shifting it upwards is upper minus max and number of uh, Uh, extra sequences that we got by shifting the whole uh, sequence downwards is basically min minus lower if we add this we also uh, uh, note that we also need to add one uh, original sequence that we took right because here we the uh, you know the reference sequence that we are taking is 3 4 1 5 you can take any reference sequence as you want to uh like if it satisfies the condition of uh, differences you can take any uh, like uh, reference sequence that you want to and for that reference sequence itself at the last we also ha have to add uh, a one because that one uh, reference sequence has not been added uh, while we are uh, calculating the extra number of sequences that can be produced by shifting it upwards or downwards right and that's fine so the number of uh, you know sequences that we are going to get the in in total the number of hidden sequences that we are going to get now comes as upper minus max plus min minus lower plus 1 for reference uh, sequence so this is it right uh, fine that's fine that i think that uh, goes with the logic and uh, now i would uh, like to show you something like some of the edge cases okay now uh, what will be the edge case what can possibly be the ed edge cases now suppose there is one condition like upper and lower are given in such a way are given in such a way that uh, you know no hidden sequences are possible hidden sequence possible so that uh, you know any like all the elements all the elements fall in this range if such a uh, like uh, range of uh, upper and lower is given for example here suppose we given upper and lower uh, upper and lower bound of 1 and 2 right right so in this case we know that it is not feasibly like it is not uh, feasible that we uh, produce n plus 1 number of uh, you know n n plus 1 numbers that can pro, uh, that can satisfy this differences array conditions right so in this case like if there are not a sufficient uh, range through which we get all the uh, hidden sequence elements that are uh, that that are falling inside the range in that case we will simply return zero okay 
so in in this case in this case if this case occurs where no hidden sequences are possible this result is going to be a uh, negative right so in this case uh, because because uh, obviously our uh, like our upper and lower are always falling in between the maximum and minimum element right they are always falling they are never uh, getting separated so if we do upper minus max and min minus low uh, min minus lower so if if you can see min is uh, lesser than lower right if you again do min minus lower so this will obviously give a uh, negative result at the same time if we do uh, upper minus max upper is ag again uh, lower than max so if we again do upper minus max so it's going to again give us a negative result right so in total if uh, our upper and lower is uh, you know in such a condition that there are no hidden sequences possible this uh, this specific expression is going to give us a negative result okay so we just simply uh, return zero in that case if we get a negative result in this so now let's go straight away and write the code so we have been given the upper and lower so what did we do first of all we will find the max element okay uh, we will be finding the max element and min element and the min element and how will we do that we will simply take a uh, an uh, element uh, like temp okay we'll take a variable called temp and we will simply iterate through all the differences that are present in this array that has been given to us right and we know that every time we just need to keep on adding the difference right like as, as you can see here in this example also Three uh, here. I would like to show you this example. Three uh, here. Uh, three plus one is e equal to four, right? This is the one one difference that has been given over here. Then four minus three equal to one, right? This for this, and then again one plus four is equal to five. So all these uh, hidden sequences, all these pairs will basically having the difference that are already mentioned over here. So in order to uh, uh, proceed over here, in order to get all the elements, we are simply going to add the like keep on adding the difference to one uh, variable that we have uh, initialized as zero. So what we do is we simply do temp plus equal to diff, right? And we here only we will be calculating the maximum element like if temp goes maximum element or it goes minimum element so if it go to, goes lower than the minimum element we have encountered till now that uh, minimum element will be stored as 10 right so now we basically have minimum element maximum element in the sequence uh, right we we have that now as i told you that we simply have to return the uh, upper minus maxi plus mini minus lower minimum element minus lower plus one for the reference right let's put this into a bracket upper minus maxi for the uh, sequence extra sequences that we are going uh, that we are getting above right and uh, mini minus lower for the x extra sequences that we are getting uh, below and plus one for the reference sequence done and what if this uh, c uh, expression is negative like if and no hidden sequences are possible so in that case we will return the maximum of zero in this which will always be zero so right so now let's run the code so example so when we submit this uh, we can see that we get a wrong answer so as you can see here negative for only a single negative element in the range is minus 46 to 53 we're getting our output as 100 while it is expected to be 60. So let's see where we have made the mistake. So uh, I think we can try by making initialize maximum and minimum element to zero, right? Because initially, uh, you know, maximum and minimum element are always zero. Okay, so there is a, a integer overflow. Okay, so let's let's take uh, long here, and at the same time we also take this as long. Okay, so let's also return this as uh, long form of zero. Right. Great. So this is accepted. 
so as uh, you can see here that what we have basically done is that we have simply calculated the number of extra sequences that will occur above the maximum element until the, like it touches the uh, upper uh, bound of the interval that has been given to us and at the same time we are also counting the number of extra intervals that are possible uh, until uh, the uh, minimum element in the hidden sequence touches the uh, lower uh, bound of the interval and in between we are taking one uh, any one hidden sequence as a reference sequence so our total result is always going to be upper minus max plus min minus lower plus one right so we are initializing we are taking initially the maximum element is, uh, and uh, minimum element as zero zeros so and we are uh, calculating this uh, sequence so that's all for this uh, video uh, if you have liked this video, uh, do like, share and comment. Also, uh, you know, give any suggestions for upcoming questions that you want to. And the code link is present in the description. Uh, check my GitHub profile for, uh, you know, various questions uh, with solutions uh, from lead code uh, that I've done. And I, I have also, uh, you know, ex explained every question. I have added comments to every question. So you can go there and explore a lot of questions there.